Hello friends, myself Jaivik Soni and today we are going to discuss on series of lectures in fuels and lubricants and its importance in automobile engineering. Let us start from introduction of fuels and lubricants. So, first one is importance of fuels in automobile. Importance of lubricant in automobile. Types of fuels. Types of lubricants. Types of lubricants and its idle requirements of fuels and lubricants. This is all the topic we will discuss today over here. So, let us start from the importance of fuels and lubricants. So, why we require fuel? Because all of our vehicles which we are running are powered by internal combustion engine and internal combustion engine required some fuel source to produce a power. So, fuel is a, our major source for production of power in internal combustion engine. Without fuel, vehicle cannot produce a power. If vehicle will not produce a power, vehicle will not move further ahead. So, we require fuels. There are various types of fuels are available. For that, we will discuss later on selection process of fuel. Let us see why we require lubricants. In automobile, as well as in internal combustion engine, there are many moving and rotating part to minimize the friction as well as to minimize the friction as well as to minimize the wear and tear, we require various lubricant for it. As we discuss types of fuel, there are various types of lubricants are also available and their gradation are also available. For selection of the lubrication, we will discuss later on. Let us see types of fuels. There are mainly categorized in three category. First one is solid, liquid and gas. Let us see the various example of solid fuels. You can see, look over here, coal, coke, wood and peat are example of solid fuels. Let us see various example of liquid, crude oil first, that is the main source of liquid fuel. Why? Because crude oil we are getting from the earth and we need to do the distillation process that is called fraction distillation process. From that we will get petrol, diesel and kerosene. Let us see the various example of gases. There are four example you can look over here, coal gas, biogas, petroleum is also an important source of gases. From that we can categorize liquefied petroleum gas and compressed natural gas and various other gases. Let us see the various example of lubricants and its types. So, lubricants are categorized also in three types. First one is solid, semi-solid and liquid. Let us see the various example of solid lubricant. It is graphite. For semi-solid, it is grease and for liquid, it is a lubricating oil which is mainly used in automobile as well as in internal combustion engine for lubricating the various parts to minimize the friction and to minimize the wear and tear. Let us move ahead. What are the various idle requirement of fuel? So, first idle requirement it should have high calorific value. That means when we are inserting a fuel in an internal combustion engine it should have a high calorific value means it should give the high level of energy when it is getting ignited. Another you can see its moisture content should be low means the fuel has very low moisture content to ignite rapidly. And idle fuel should have moderate and ignition temperature means our fuel can get in ignited very rapidly. It should not produce any harmful gases like CO2 and many more. Fuel should have low content non-combustible matter 
that means uh, it is a part of a pollution when we are getting ignited of fuel means our fuel is getting combustible it should not produce any contained non combustible matter another idle requirements easy amount of availability means our fuel should be available when we require effective cost fuel should not have high cost the combustion of fuel should be controllable it should not get blast in our engine when fuel is getting ignited all the fuels are which we are using for the vehicles are in a controlled manner it should not give any offensive odor means a uh, bad smell it's like when fuel is getting ignited heavy amount of the smoke is produced in engine so that should not be any bad smell when the smoke is coming out from the vehicle easy handling transportation is also a very important part of a fuels so it should be handled very easily and rapidly so these all are the various idle requirements here and we are uh, concluding here thank you